The legendary Canadian rock band Trooper drew a huge crowd to the Canadian Lakehead exhibition last night, and the amusement rides were packed as well for the fair's second night. It seems a lot of people have been eager for the CLE to return after a two-year hiatus, but it's causing considerably long wait times to get in. Mitchell Ringos has the details. Even though Trooper never hit it big worldwide, much like the tragically hip who came afterwards, they were beloved in their home country and here in Thunder Bay, with people flooding the CLE's concert area to hear some of their greatest hits like Raise a Little Hell and the crowd favorite were here for a good time, not a long time, which they played twice. CLE Fair Chair Basil Lishwood expected a good sized crowd but was shocked by the turnout. Judging by our advanced ticket sales, it was a, a hunch that something big in, was going to happen here at the CLE. So, uh, I, again, I was on pins and needles uh, with the crowd that we had uh, last night. And while the live music made it a night to remember, the long wait times were not so exciting as a lineup started at the gate and went all the way across the May Street Bridge and even wrapped around onto Isabel Street. Some people said they waited close to an hour to get in, and Lishwood says it did cause some people to miss out on some of their time on the rides, which is why they kept them running past midnight. Uh, we went to talk to Jim and Bob Mills, the owner of the rides. We stayed past 12.30, uh, you know, to try to help the people that didn't get the rides and everything. So kudos to them for, you know, and working with us and, you know, and the people that came. So, uh, you know, that's a good problem to have, and uh, yeah. And the numbers we saw with Trooper are going to be hard to beat, but with Honeymoon Suite taking the stage, there is an expectation those lineups could be long once again tonight. So they are going to be opening up this gate behind me for advanced tickets to try and thin out those lines. Mitchell Ringos, TBT News.